coming up through my eyelets there. I'm gonna go over exactly the setup here. We're using some of our clear matrix shads here. I got it, right now I got it on a half ounce golden eye jig head. The tide's falling pretty good. I like to get on the opposite side of what I normally do when I'm trolling. So the tide's falling going this way and I like to get on the west side and let the bait kind of get pulled back to the bridge. All right, so our setup here is a half ounce jig head on a clear, like the Holy Jolly Shrimp Creole Magneto Matrix Shad. You can see that loon in the background right there. That's what made me stop here, is I saw a lot of loons. I started jigging, I was catching one here and there, but it was spread out, so I decided to start trolling. We're using our new golden eye screw lock hook so when you thread it on you got to actually screw it on this makes the bait really stay on there got the half ounce on right now because that tide is falling at a pretty good clip so what we do i got a piece of i don't know about 10 foot of a fluoro leader our matrix fluoro then i just put you're gonna go ahead and zig it out there you got to get that that lead line, you can see it right there. I put about 20 feet or so, maybe a little longer. Just a little piece of it on there to help get that bait down. And I'm just on regular mono, the Matrix Mono, as a backer. The way I don't really need a ton of, um, of that lead core. And I'm just gonna let out almost the whole spool, not quite, you know, I'm, depending on the size of your spool. And then I, I burn the trolling motor, get it go real fast and get it all out. And then I slow it down to about 1.7. It's a good, good speed. And we're just gonna pull it down the bridge. If you feel it, if you feel your bait bump the bottom a little bit, you either wanna speed up or do a couple cranks in, either one. You want it bumping the bottom every once in a while, not too often. If you're doing it too often, you're just gonna get a lot of snags out of here. Depending on how hard the tide's falling, it tells me how far I wanna be off the bridge because I don't want it sweeping it back into the actual bridge itself. And every once in a while, I'll just give it a couple little twitches like that. But for the most part, it's a nice streamlined drag right down the bridge. And you just be patient and cover a lot of water this way and you wait for your bites. And I like to do this this time of year when before the boats get out here too big or too, you know, too, too many of them and you can really cover some ground. Once the boats get out of here, usually the fishing's a little bit easier. Um, they're a little bit more, you know, more fish out here. So you do better just jigging. Plus it makes it harder to troll. But when you got the whole bridge to yourself and there's a handful of fish out here, that trolling can be extremely effective. Right now we're doing a little jigging. 
as I started catching a few trolling started getting kind of decent so I wanted to drop the trolling pole and let's try some jigging here let's see what's happening with it yeah baby that's what we're looking for right there that's what we're looking for right there that's a solid chunk got that holy jolly tattooed it boy thumped it Boom. you can really use that troll in your advantage for one some days it can be the more effective way to catch fish period but for two if you haven't been out here in a while and there's not a lot of boats out here it's a great way to just cover a lot of water and try to figure out where the the good zone is where the fish are really holding you know because you'll go 30 minutes without a bite trolling and then you might hit two or three in a row and you can you keep making a pass in there and you notice that that's where the you know the area that's holding some fish and that's kind of what happened today i went a good ways with not much caught a couple now i wouldn't say you know back to back but caught a couple within maybe a 300 yard stretch and then got into a dead zone again so i came back i went under the bridge because i really like to jig it i like to use you know when i'm jigging i like to jig with the current coming towards me and uh came under the bridge started jigging the same little region where i was getting the bite trolling oh there he was right there pulled my pants down Let's see if they got a few in there Anyway, I came in that little region where I had some bites trolling, and voila, catching them jigging now. And this is definitely much more my expertise than the trolling. I'm, I'm still learning things with the trolling. I've learned a lot. I've gotten a lot better at it, but I still just kind of use it as a search tool. I really like to, I'd rather be jigging to uh, catch them if I can. That was a good hit right there. We're using the Holy Jolly right now. Water's crystal clear, not a cloud in the sky. Just trying to use something real natural, a clear bait. You know, Magneto, Shrimp Creole, Ultraviolet, all of those would be good right now. Just throwing it up to the bridge piling. The basic punch train pop. Let it get down to the bottom. We got a perfect tail end of the fallen tide right here. Couldn't ask for better conditions. Whether you're trolling or casting, these are about as optimal as conditions as you can ask for. As we're right in the very beginning of the spring, the fish are just starting to show their face around here. Kind of got the bridge all to yourself, which is a rarity to be able to catch trout and have it to yourself at the same time like we have one right here right now right. and all these fish guys they are i haven't caught any monsters but i mean some solid chunks solid chunks i'd say a two pound average that's what we're looking for holy jolly that leverage on them. When you feel that little bite, pull back. Drive that hook into their mouth. Ooh. Right there, we're using that. So we were trolling with the half ounce. The tide's chilling out a little bit. That's the three eighths right there with the holy. This is probably, this is probably the smallest fish of the day. That's a heck of a average when that's the smallest one of the day. Whenever you're fishing the track, you really want to, you know, we've gone over this a million times. I like to throw like at a 45 degree angle, basically the pollen that's it, that you're approaching. It takes about eight to 12 seconds to get to the bottom, depending on exactly what the jig head you use or exactly the depth. Average is about 10 to 12 foot here. And it's just, you can do little pops 
on the way back in, or sometimes we pop it real hard. It, you know, that, that doesn't make a tremendous amount of difference. The key is, and I'll show you here, so it hits the water one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hit the water on eight. Tide's a little lower than normal. I mean, hit the bottom on eight. But the key is pop, 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 rail in your slack and let it get hit the bottom again. You want it up, bottom, up, bottom. Now, Jake has just, it's hitting that dust. It's hitting that dirt, the mud, whatever's down there. And it's creating a little dust cloud every time it bounces the bottom. And that's what really gets those fish's attention. So you've got to let that bait fall back to the bottom and make contact after every series of pops. Right now, that water clarity is exceptional. I would, um, I'd recommend the Matrix Fluoro. We don't always use fluoro out here. It just kind of depends, but that water clarity is really, really good. That 15 pound matrix fluoros, that's what I'm using now. It's perfect for out here. And that's really what I'd recommend. Those fish can definitely see your line when you can see, I'd say when that fluoro really comes into play is when you can see two and a half feet or more. Right now that clarity is at about, it's about three and a half foot somewhere in there. It's about as good as it gets out here and you definitely want to use it you can even drop it down if you want i like the 15 but you can go as light as eight you're going to break more fish off but you probably will get more bites so it's a double bladed sword and now that the tide is getting slower and slower it's still got to fall to it you can fish on either side of the bridge i could i could get on the west side and fish it i do find that the flounder there's more flounders on the west side. We caught a couple of those earlier when I was on the west side. But if I'm strictly doing trout and trying to really catch a lot, I do, I tend to favor the side that the tide is pushing towards. So east side on a fall and west side on an incoming. The trolling's a little bit different. You know, I, since I don't have all of the trolling gear and lead core, I mean, you know, piano wire, seal lot wire, just use a little piece of lead core. I typically get on the up current side. It helps keep that lure close to the bridge at all times. But this is way more fun when you can catch them jigging. All right, if I don't get one on this cast, we're gonna pick up, make another swoop back where we were catching them. Usually when I'm catching a few on the bridge, I just roll. I very rarely turn around, but I don't think there's a tremendous amount of fish here yet, and they're in little groups and patches. So you just kind of, when you find that little area, it could be as long as two fire breaks or so, you find a little area, just grind it out. You know, they don't really get super thick. There he is right there, as I say that. I was just about to leave. Whoa! Almost caught that one in the eye. That's why you want to always wear sunglasses when you're fishing. But as you saw, I was just about to leave. They're about to lull me to sleep, and then bam, got thumped way out on that holy jolly, catching pretty trout like this right here. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV. I'm gonna go try some other areas. That was a nice little drift. We got enough to eat for tonight. Get your hands on these holy jolies by simply subscribing to the Matrix Bait Box. We'll be putting these out in your subscription box. Come out here, guys. Enjoy Lake Pontchartrain while we go over our spring run. And these trout will be here for a little while. Till next time, guys. Good fishing.